is the August market report for Washtenaw County. And for the county actually uh, for this year, 2015, probably the big story in real estate is the return of inventory. And not that inventory is rising in all price ranges, and actually the lower the price range, under the two, under 250 or even under 150, uh, inventories is still scarce, inventories are, are, uh, are tight. But compared to last year, they're not quite as tight. And in the over 250 markets, uh, and actually over 200 markets, inventories have been rising consistently all year. Now, so have sales, so have buyers. So there are actually more buyers in the market uh, than there were last year. Um, so, but what we've seen in the, the uh, middle to upper price ranges is we've seen that the listing inventories, new listings coming to the market, are coming in the market faster than increased buyers. So we're actually seeing for those sellers, they're probably feeling like the market is slowing. There are actually, again, are more buyers than last year, but there are also even more listings. So that's the, sort of the first sign of, uh, of an equalizing of the market. We might even see in the upper price ranges, we might even see some values go flat, and we have seen actually the last couple of months values in the upper end, the half million above, go flat and even down a little bit. And we don't see that, as we said, I think last month, we don't see that as a long-term uh, issue. It's more of a, a market correction of supply and demand. But going into the fall, we'll probably see that and see values may be stabilized to even decline a little bit in the upper end markets throughout Washtenaw County. Overall, again, going into this year, we look at our, one of the leading indicators we look at is our web activity. How many buyers are looking at properties online? And that activity is just as strong now as it was last year. So we think that we're going into the fall with as much buyer interest as we did last year. But we're also seeing more sellers willing to put their homes in the market now because values have risen enough to sort of hit whatever that magic point of value that buyers are looking at to put their homes on the market. Those have been waiting for a number of years they're hitting that mark, so we're getting that release of inventory, which is a good thing for the market. It does mean that home values probably won't rise as fast as they did from the next 12 months forward as it did to the prior 12 months, but they'll still go up, still go up in value. And one of the things that we watch very closely is uh, home affordability. And there's an affordability index that the uh, National Association of Realtors uses, and, and for Washtenaw County, uh, that affordability index is um, uh, is 129. Now, that's um, the, if you look at the um, at what the index means at 100, that means the median family can afford the median price. So at 129, that means there's some play in that market. That means the median family can afford a home a third higher than the median price in Washtenaw County. Um, and in Michigan, we like to see those numbers in the 120s to 130 range. Uh, if you're in San Francisco, it's probably 98 or 80, uh, but in Michigan we want to see that. Now Washtenaw County traditionally has had a, um, a higher, lower index than other counties and other markets. For example, 129 is Washtenaw County, Oakland County is 165. Um, but if we look at the market and say values rise 5% over the next 12 to 18 months, interest rates rise to 5%, which most economists project as well in the next 12 to 18 months, that moves that index from 129 for Washtenaw County down to 109. So that means that the market at that point is pretty well balanced. Um, that means that, uh, that for the lower price markets, it'll be a little bit tougher to buy in Washtenaw County. Um, so we're watching that number a little bit. But in the meantime, we still have strong buyer interest. Um, we have more households able to buy now than we ever had before. Um, and even in activity really jumped in June and July for buyer activity. We think that was one because there was a threat of interest rates rising that always causes buyers to come out of the woodwork. And two, um, with slightly more inventory in the upper price ranges, buyers have been waiting sitting on the fence came off the market and there also was that factor of all of those those families that consolidated, those kids that lived in their parents' basements for all those years, and finally being released into the marketplace and looking for homes as well as the economy settles for the last few years. So all that means that we have, we look for good buyer demand going into the fall and going into next year as well. So it's all pretty good uh, numbers to look at. Um, even if you look at Case Schiller, you'll see some numbers and we'll show you on our um, a written report where Case Shiller is going, they tend to have the best numbers for true appreciation rates. 
you see the numbers are pretty strong for throughout metro area, including Washtenaw County. Not as high as it was two years ago, but stable and steady and, and more sustainable. So overall, we're looking for some good momentum continuing, as we had uh, told you last month and the month before. We're still seeing continuing steady momentum in the marketplace for Washtenaw, and uh, we're looking forward to the end of a good summer.